Right, so we got to do a swell here and we want this to be higher so everything falls that way so I've got the D4 here and I'm going to ship it with that going to cut that over there, push everything here, build this up a little bit and we will see what this looks like Right, so I did a rough cut well, rough cut, pretty close really and we want it to like fall this way and uh, it's really close really so I did set up the laser to level just front of the dozer and it's looking good so here already already got about five inches so five inches lower than front of the dozer so we're laying this way already now we want Constance, Constance this out. You know, even so if he's, if he's lower here, which is I mean, still falling this way, but if he's only four inches lower here, it's mean we got a puddle there halfway through. Uh oh. Oh, bloody hell, the dogs are in the way. Oh, all right, bear with me. I gotta move the dozer, it's in the way for the laser. I moved the dozer so we should be able to see that obviously you can see it's quite a nice shape to it and at this end we have to lift up that'll be fine it'll be fine as long as it falls this way constantly constantly nicely and even it'll be fine what we don't want is puddles puddles obviously the water will run off it but uh we don't want puddles left behind. Yeah. Now in this modern world, if you buy a buy a GPS uh, um, for a dozer or a dozer with a GPS for 200 grand, then you don't have to worry about that thing. You just press the button and does it for you. But where is the fun in that? Right. So we here one a bit more than five inches. You see? We gotta go deeper here. Yeah, we got about three inches. All right, so it's mean we high here. I still gotta go deeper than that. It's still falling this way, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Let's come a bit further here. Uh, let's come a bit further. You can't judge it by eyes. It's really hard to judge by eye. Okay, so here end of my pretty much end of my cut oh that's pretty good it's a good foot day a good foot there which mean it's actually i can see where there is a little hump in there i don't know if you can see so it's about 10 meter from the middle bit of a hump it looks like it's a hole behind it but the hole is actually right is the hump is gonna come off so a bit more tickling a bit more tickling. Okay, that's good news really. That's, that's good news really. Well, I'll get back in the dozer and go and play with it. It's just, it is what it is. I just do a little bit. Judge it by eye. Do a little bit, check it. Do a little bit, check it. And eventually it will come. It'll be alright. <laughs> Gotta get this done. Check this over with the laser. So we've got a, from here to the end, it's got about 800 mil full, and then it's rapidly dropping from here. There's no question about it. But I think we're done here for now, anyway. Once. Uh, the paper comes and uh, do that road. It's gonna be a hundred mil of grey type one on it, 
and once the paver done that we come up with the mini digger here on the edge and dress up the edge to it that's why i'm not paying too much attention here at the top at the edge of it because the road itself is not finished yet um, however we want to do most of the work before the road's done because we can't really put any machinery on the road we don't want to chew it up with the tracks and stuff so i'm pretty pretty happy with that and it's decent size that swell is i'm pretty confident that it will cope with any water here uh, and it should be just fine so i'm gonna jump in the digger take it take it to the other end and uh, there is a bit more to do there <laughs> 